Cook and Mirror are already in their spacesuits for the day, as you can see. Uh, we just saw Cook move into that smaller equipment lock part of the space station. You can tell that it's her because she will be wearing spacesuits marked with a red stripe around the leg and also on the backpack that holds the spacesuit's life support system. She gets those red stripes on her spacesuit because uh, as, uh, as today is her fourth spacewalk, she's going to be the lead spacewalker for this excursion. Mir, who is still in this larger crew lock portion of Quest Airlock, waiting to be moved into the smaller part, is going to be wearing an all-white uh, all uh, space suit today as she's going to be conducting her first spacewalk. You can see here that uh, Christina Cook has a... Uh, 20 hours and 31 minutes already built up of time spent outside the space station. So she's going to add uh, some more to that today. And uh, Jessica Muir will be getting her first time spent out in the vacuum of space. There's a lot of work that goes into getting the spacesuits ready for each individual spacewalker. Before you even get into a spacesuit for the first time, engineers here on the ground take about 80 different body measurements to make sure they are able to give each spacewalker the best possible fit. Astronaut Andrew Morgan there closing the hatch between this smaller part of the airlock that will actually be depressed and the rest of the station. Having just that smaller part depressed is, helps to conserve the oxygen at the International Space Station. The wall, I had uh, 0012, 0018. And with the uh, battery power now on, the spacewalk has officially begun. We see that happening at 6.38 a.m. Central Time, a little ahead of schedule, about 12 minutes, but uh, that gets us started on today's historic spacewalk. The hatch thermal cover is open. Christina, you may egress the airlock. Copy, in work. And that was the go-ahead from Stephanie Wilson for Christina Cook to begin heading out of the airlock. Again, the spacewalk has officially begun. 6.38 a.m. Central Time was the official start time. And keep an eye here on the, the view from uh, coming down from the space station. We should see the spacewalkers beginning to, to make their way outside. Once again, this uh, historic moment, first time that two women have done a spacewalk together. Tracy, as a female spacewalker, does that seem like a milestone worth worth marking and celebrating to you? I think the milestone is that um, hopefully this will now uh, be considered normal. Um, it's uh, significant in that, um, you know, not to overshadow the fact we've, uh, women have been doing spacewalks for 35 years and um, we train like this every day and so it's pretty normal and we just hope that this is a, a start to that. the load alleviating straps. EB-1's on the aft external D-ring and EB-2's on the forward. Christina Cook there, the first to come out of the uh, the Quest airlock. EB-1's load alleviating strap is inspected and looks good. And EB-2's load alleviating, alleviating strap is good and good inspection. And Houston is back with you. And uh, we're copying, and that's your call. If you'd like to uh, place the medium ORU bag first or uh, conduct the translation update, adaptation, it is up to you. Okay, copy. And we're getting our first uh, look here from the helmet cameras of the spacewalkers. This one's from Jessica Mirror, and you'll be able to tell that it's her view during the spacewalk by the uh, number 11 embossed in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. This again is a view from uh, Jessica Mirror's helmet camera. She is making her way to uh, begin setting up the work site at uh, the P6, tr P6 truss segment. That's the far end of the port truss on the space station. One of the uh, furthest work sites that, that we send spacewalkers to. 